Gus Walls became a social media sensation for the emotional support he showed his father at the Democratic National Convention earlier this year. But that's not the only reason he caught our attention. His parents recently shared he has a nonverbal learning disorder and is neurodivergent. We asked a team of experts from Rush University Medical Center, Lurie Children's Hospital, and Easter Seals DuPage to break down what these terms mean. Currently, neither one is listed as an official mental health diagnosis in the American Psychiatric Association's Manual on Mental Health Disorders. Neurodivergent is exactly what it, the word says. It's that you're, you don't present as perhaps a, a typical uh, child or adult might present. Our experts say that applies to both little and big differences in the way your brain functions, which means more of us are considered neurodivergent than you think. When some people hear the term, I think they often think about how individuals may be imp impacted by neurodivergence to a greater degree. There's a lot of people who sort of have almost invisible disabilities that have neurodivergence that you may not know when you meet them day to day, but have other kind of struggles that they are working on with therapist or support they might need in school. Autism and ADHD are among some of the bigger reasons why someone is considered to be neurodivergent. A nonverbal learning disorder or NVLD is another one and don't let the name fool you. The tricky part of that is when people hear nonverbal they often think someone isn't talking and the opposite is actually true with that. Nonverbal learning disability or NVLD is a condition where an individual's verbal skills are significantly higher than their nonverbal skills. The areas that they typically struggle in are going to be perceptual uh, reasoning and, and how they uh, perceive things. That includes social communication and the patterns that go with it. Since the two are often confused, our experts also point out a nonverbal learning disorder is different compared to autism. And with NVLD, we have difficulties with social skills, that social communication, but not difficulties with language, and NVLD does not include those repetitive behaviors that autism has. Gonzalez also points out that a nonverbal learning disorder is not a sign of ADHD or any other kind of learning disability, but it can be hard to spot. This is something that early on is often difficult to kind of see in younger children. It tends to become more apparent as kids get older because these patterns become more important and become more nuanced and your ability to take sort of the early learning skills that you had and apply them become more important as you sort of get into like the middle school age range. If you think your child may be neurodivergent, our panel says the first step is to talk with your pediatrician to get qualified referrals to mental health professionals. If your child needs to do neuropsych testing and you don't have access to do it, they say ask your school to test your child in the areas where they are struggling to see what support they can offer. Tia Ewing, Box 32, Chicago.